welcome to another lecture of quantum mechanics. Uh, in this lecture, we'll discuss skew metric, skew Hermitian operator, or it's also called as anti Hermitian. Now, an operator, an operator B is said to be an anti Hermitian anti Hermitian operator or you can say skew Hermitian either of the name will be mentioned in the question paper if B if you take a complex conjugate or a Hermitian adjoint should give you minus of that operator. So this is the condition for an operator to be called a skew Hermitian or an anti Hermitian operator. In Dirac notation, this condition can be written as we make a sandwich between two wave functions of the operator A taking a dagger should give you minus phi A psi. The positions are interchanged with a negative sign. Next one is the integral notation of the same condition. minus infinity to plus infinity psi star a phi dx should give you should be equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a psi star phi dx so this is the integral notation for this condition now the question is we'll take an example we'll take an example Question is prove that d of dx, this operator, is a, is an anti Hermitian operator. Now We'll start with the left hand side and we'll assume that psi and phi are a bound state acceptable wave functions, which means that this which means that psi and phi go to zero as x tends to plus minus infinity. This is the assumption made. Now we'll start with the left hand side and we need to get this result, this side, okay. So it's, it says that we'll just write down the form of the operator given. This is d by dx acting on phi. We we'll take, we'll do the integration by parts. This side, this psi star minus infinity to plus infinity d psi d phi dx dx minus equal minus infinity plus infinity d psi star dx now this integration of this term second term and another dx integrating further we have here minus infinity plus infinity we get phi from this and this one is d psi star dx this is phi again dx so this term becomes zero because we had assumed that phi and psi are acceptable bound state wave function and at the upper limit and lower limit both become zero 
So this terms gets becomes zero. So what we are left with is d psi star dx phi dx. So this matches with this format, the right hand side. That means that if you take a dagger of this operator, you'll get minus of ddx. So you should remember this result. This is a very important result. You'll, you will be using it directly without having to uh, go through the proof every time. So we say that b by dx is anti-Hermitian operator. Anti-Hermitian or skew Hermitian operator. All right. Now we'll take up a small exercise. We have just proven that the dagger of ddx is minus ddx. That means this is anti-Hermitian. Now I want you to use this result and prove that the momentum operator is Hermitian operator. You can try it out and then look after the solution. We just place the operator in its explicit form and take a dagger. So this is a constant. So the constants are replaced by the complex conjugate and the ddx we operate the dagger. Now this one is I, I minus iota is replaced by iota and this gives you minus ddx because this is already proven. Now we get minus ih cut d by dx which is again the px operator that means px dagger is equal to px. This proves that px is Hermitian, hence proof. So this is a small exercise. All right. Now a small property here that if you take a dagger of a commutator, it gives you b dagger a dagger. It can be proven. I state a property of Hermitian operator, anti-Hermitian operator without proof that the eigenvalues, the eigenvalues of anti-Hermitian operator is purely imaginary. It's purely imaginary or zero. If you want, you can look up the proofs for this statement. This can be easily proven. Okay, just expand it and operate the operator, you'll get it. If you want me to do it, I'll do it right now. This is A. We are just proving this thing. A, B, in like a commutator of A and B operator. If you apply a dagger, so we expand the commutator and place the dagger. We take the admission adjoint of all the terms. We get this is B dagger, A dagger minus this is A dagger, B dagger, which is basically the commutator of b dagger a dagger you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends 